I say to the children's minister, try to calm down and behave like an adult. And if you can't, if it's beyond you, leave the chamber, get out, we'll manage without you. Mr David Ward. This is intolerable behaviour as far as the public... No, it's not funny. Only in your mind, Mr Lawton, is it funny. It's not funny at all. It's disgraceful. Mr David Ward. And we are dealing with this latest order, abuse order, that happened when he was... Order! Support... Order! order. You've got the question. At least give the courtesy to listen to the answer if you, even if you don't like it. There's no need to get so excited. There's other people who wish to get in. Order! Is the honourable gentleman questioning me? We're going to carry on. Order! Mr Gove! <laughs> you, order! You really... You really... Order! You really are a very over-excitable individual. You need to write out a thousand times. I will behave myself at Prime Minister's questions. The Prime Minister. If honourable <laughs> members don't be quiet and listen to the minister, the minister will have to repeat her speech over and over again. Order! Order! And if, if the House keeps interrupting me, I will call order again and again, and very few people will have a chance to make the speeches they have prepared. Now, silence. Minister. Mr. Order! 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 order. 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 The honourable, uh, the honourable member must withdraw. Order. Order. In the honourable member, I name the honourable member for Hazen Harlington. Order. Order. A, a, a motion has to be moved. The, que the question is that the, 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 the honourable member be suspended from the sittings of this house. Suspended with that opinion, say aye. 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 The contrary, no. 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 Division. Clear the lobby. Order. Order. Please, can we calm the debate? This is an important debate, and we don't need shouting across the chamber in that fashion. Order. Do you understand? Do you understand? Stop it. Let's take the heat out of this debate now and stop the calling. Can I just say to the bike row and a couple of people in particular that the panto season isn't for another nine months and if auditions do take place, can they take place outside the chamber? <laughs> We can't have one side being told without the other. You don't, it's not a competition. Who can shout the loudest? Let's hear the Chancellor. If you don't want to hear your own Chancellor, I'm sure your constituents would understand if you leave to leave the chamber. I suggest nobody wants to leave the chamber. Let us continue. Chancellor of the Exchequer. Order, order. Can I just say, the Honourable Gentleman has only just walked in, and normally it's courtesy to hear a little bit of the debate before we intervene. But also, we do need shorter interventions when we're going to get them, if we don't mind. Michael Connerty. Uh, in there. In there. The member for Huddersfield should know better than challenge the chair. It's not my fault, because he may be somewhere else in the chamber. If his preference is to be on a committee here, that's his choice. But don't expect to walk in and actually intervene on the chair in that way. Michael Connerty, I, I've made my route. The member for Huddersfield... On the point, and it better be a point. Upstairs, and I have every right as a member of parliament to intervene on my colleague. What I would say it is discourteous to other members in this house not to have listened a little bit of the debate than to walk in and intervene straight away. That's my ruling, and that's what I've said. Michael Connerty. Oh, oh, Dad, it's a capital save, as I'm sick and tired of hearing you shout out. From yeah. 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 Oh, Dad. There was a great deal of pressure last Thursday upon the Leader of the House to bring the Prime Minister to the dispatch box today and the Leader of the Opposition for this important debate. I want to hear that debate in silence. Prime Minister. This. Sit down. No. We will not have two members standing. It was an intervention. I'm not having somebody shouting for the back row. We want an orderly debate. We want an orderly we want an orderly debate where everybody will have their time to speak. 
So what we will do is conduct it with respect and with tolerance. Order! 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 The Honourable Member must sit down if I rise to my feet. Order! He will not continue the debate from a sedentary position, otherwise he will get into real trouble.